Okay, let's talk about it. Notifications. It's kind of like you can't live with them and you can't live without them. I mean, they're constantly calling your attention. Sure, like now and again you can silence them, but what if something comes up when you actually need to see it? The context switch always kills me and it's really hard for me to sometimes juggle all the notification that comes in and when to have focus time and when not. So. I do feel a little bit bad that I have to come in this video and bring you another Slack integration, but I promise that if you check it out and if you give this Slack integration a go, you'll see that it's definitely worth the trouble. Because now with this Slack integration, if your multi-cloud resources scale out in a way that you weren't expecting, you'll get notified. If the cost goes over a certain threshold that you set, you'll also be notified. This way now, you're not gonna always have to have comms here in front of you to be able to get value from it. But hopefully if something happens that you should be notified about, you'll know and that context which in that particular moment will be worth it. So let's see how we can easily set it up. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna to want to do is head over to the documentation where we can find the steps to create the Slack integration. Now the steps are under installation, which is inside the introduction section. So scroll all the way down and you'll be able to find the, the Slack integration section, right? So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to create a Slack app. We're going to enable the incoming webhooks. We're gonna create a webhook and we're gonna pick a channel that the app will post to. And then once we do those things, we'll uh, generate the webhook and then this web webhook will be added to the config.tumble file. At the very bottom, we recommend just above the data persistence block. So right above that, just add Slack and then the webhook itself. So the way that you would create the app, the Slack app is at api.slack.com and go ahead and create an app. You're gonna create from scratch and you'd give it a name like uh, Commissar Alerts and you'll pick a workspace. So I'm just gonna pick the Tailwarden workspace. This is where I want to create the app. And as it says in the documentation, let's go ahead and enable incoming webhooks. Now that we have this, we can add a new webhook to a workspace and I'm going to choose the channel now. So this is where we want to send those alert messages. I'm just gonna send it to myself at the moment since it's just a demo. So let's just click allow and this will now create this webhook for me. So this is a webhook that I would then go over to the uh, config.tml file. In my case, it's here. Uh, I already pre-created a Slack uh, notification, a Slack uh, webhook, and it's already configured inside my config.tml file. I'm not gonna open it up right now because I have a few other uh, confidential credentials linking to my other cloud providers, but, um, but that's what I added, just this block and the webhook with the webhook that we just generated. Um, having done that, let's go ahead and run Commissar by running Commissar start. Cool, that looks to be running. And let's head on over to the inventory page. Uh, so I'm already here. Uh, so in the inventory page, I have these, um, these custom views already created and we can create alerts uh, on those custom views. So uh, we can go over here. Uh, we can either set up an alert right here or we can go over to the alerts button. At the moment, I don't have any alerts set up. So uh, let's just see. So I'm in the civil resources custom view. I, I want to know, uh, just to make sure that the, that the alert works, I'm going to m create one for uh, around cost. And I want to see like an um, auto scaling alert. I want to make sure that this alert actually uh, works. So I'm just going to make it alert for any time that this custom view has more than two resources. Now, I already know that this custom view already does have more than two resources, but it's just to make it um, work the, the first time. 
Cool, so the alert has been created. We can go ahead and edit it right here. We can change the name, um, increase or decrease the threshold and save. Uh, we can create more than one alert. Uh, say, for example, if I wanted to create a, a expensive, I don't know, expensive resources alert or an expense related alert. So anything that's over $10 in your civil, civil account, you want to get notified. Because at the moment, none of my resources uh, are actually incurring that kind of cost. Cool. So this is now created. And now I'm just going to restart the commissary engine just so we can see this alert in action. You're not going to have to do this if you want to get alerted. Uh, the alert process will run every time the resource fetching process is run, which is around every 15 minutes. So once you uh, have the alert in place every 15 minutes or less, it will be run. So I just started it now and I'm going to head over to Slack. And I can see that I do actually have a alert that just came in. 34 resources is over the threshold of two resources that I said in the alert, making it uh, quite easy to see that there's some sort of anomaly. And then I would more than likely head over to Commissaire to see what the specific issue is, what resources uh, are causing the alert. And then I can take actions from there. So that's pretty much it for the Slack integration. As you can see, it's pretty easy to set up. Give it a go. Let us know what you think of it. And hopefully now you're not going to have to sit in front of Commissaire all the time to get some value from it. If something happens that you should know about, you will know about it. Best of luck with all your endeavors. Thanks a million for watching and catch you next time. Bye.